never done like two in a room. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we'll keep so, it clean. It's Good Friday. I know, exactly. Well, um, let me just turn you up a little bit. Can you hear me and see me all okay? Yes. I can see you. And I'm loving the dungarees. Looking mm -hmm. like um, a member that should have been in, who did I say, 911? 911, yeah. You got my body shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, biggest compliment ever. It never really happened. But um, <laughs> yeah, literally, I got the, your voice clip and you were like, clearly should have been in 911. Honestly. I'd have gone with NSYNC, anything, to be honest. <laughs> How are you both? Good. I'm loving well, lockdown? No. <laughs> what was that? Being real, I can't stand lockdown. I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. It's been a pleasure to have time to myself. Yeah. And it's been very good to, to revisit the things that I really want to do. Um, give myself vocal rest as well, because I was working way too hard. Yeah. Um, Mm. And it allowed me, I know Yola knows this, it allowed me to actually have an operation on my voice, which I needed. Yes. Um, yeah. How did that but, go? It allowed us to take the mic out of there as well, because we couldn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> but away from that, I feel like I'm already reclusive. I think even my, the people who follow me online know that I'm, I'm barely on social media. Yeah. I'm very, very quiet. Um, so to be locked down where you don't see anyone, can't go anywhere, I'm like, it's not my choice anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, I want to get out. Listen, it, April 14th, when everything opens, I am all man up. Yeah. Well, I'm out. 12th. 12th. Two days early. 12th. Yeah. Days yeah. Early. Nice. I like it. It's our uh, birthday month, by the way. You got, you got two ball gangs in the room. I was going to say, whoop. when I first messaged you, and I was like, oh, how is this month? And she was like, oh, April, it's, it's a good month for us. It's our birth month. So it's like, <laughs> yes. when, is it? when is your birthday? 27th, 30th, but both my kids as well are in April as well. Mm -hmm. That's weird. That is, that is yeah. weird. But quite, is there a lot of joint parties? Like, like we just do it together? Do you know what? We usually avoid that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but this year I'm doing it to my kids. Yeah, we Aww. have a habit, Yona and I, of going, birthday weekend, birthday weekend. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> talking, obviously, thank you so, so much for like, doing this, Pope. And the thing is, I've, I've spoke to you. I've got to say, your sister, Cleo, oh my word. It was nice of me to break it to her that you've actually were nominated for a Brit and a mobile award. Oh, Yona forgets things all that so I'm forgetful, but that is not something I'd forget. When she said that to me, I was like, what? Excuse me, what? You forgot what? It's all right. It's because they didn't give us the actual award. You yeah. kind of let it go. But I didn't let it go. I was like, nominated. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you have to pay as well, don't you? Like, if you do win a Brit or a Smash, I know um, Ian um, H from Steph, he said, I think it was he was like, I didn't get my Brit because you had to pay hundreds of pounds for the actual award. I was like, you know what's yeah. funny? No, 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 Yona, I'm not being funny, right? I don't know the logistics of this, but in the 90s, that. there was a lot of smarmy, skyvy little things that were happening where, to be honest, mm -hmm. Yona and I, Yona will agree with me, where are our plaques? Where are our discs for our records? Um, yeah. you know, Have you not no, no, no listen, we've got label. a crappy one that was handmade, mate. We only Sorry, had, I'm allowed we to say crappy. One out of all the records yeah. we, were, we ever did. And what's worse is it was for the Michael Jackson record, which I was like, really? Yes. Um, you know, it's a lot of things went on in the 90s and in this industry that they don't, they, it's hard for us to talk about it because what they do is you get blacklisted. You yes. Get shunned and, and you know, like I was saying to you and those boys now. If you are, if you're really genuine about your trade, about your work, <laughs> ain't nobody care <laughs> because <laughs> if you're not, if you're complying, if you're not complying, they're yeah. shoved to the back. And yeah. it's one of those things that I believe has happened very strongly with Young and I, yeah. um, with Zenim as well, with all of us, with with a lot of those in, those artists back then. If you didn't, if it wasn't tits and ass. And if it wasn't yeah. somebody else writing your music, they, then you weren't. Anything. They're not asked. They're not well. asked about you. They actually tried to have me have my whole record be written by somebody, other people I don't even know. And I was like, listen, mm -hmm. I know that there's other writers out there, but I've been writing my whole life. And you, <laughs> why would you now? You had us working with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who we we were like drooling at the mouth right, to work with. Yeah. This, is the, this is Michael Jackson, J Jackson, TLC. Yeah, Jam and Lewis, all of them, Dal 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 Austin. With Whitney Houston's team, um, Daryl Simmons, Dallas Austin. Again, huge artists. We were, we were on stage with 
with Sammy, with um, Drew Hill, with with Destiny's Child, with who else? Yeah. Your, um, next. Like Lenny Kravitz. Next, yeah. you're going to now take us and tell us that you're going <laughs> to manufacture a family band, yeah. and then you want to manufacture a solo artist out of that band who is a natural born singer songwriter. Yeah. You're going to tell me that I've got no control of my when I was mm -hmm. 18. Forget girl power, right? Yeah. We were very much about independence. Not just, I know it was a lot about women. Oh, the women are not, but still, it was about independence, belief in yourself, knowing who you are and believing that you can do anything and be anything you want to be. Yeah. Who am I to turn around and go, be anything you want to be? But everybody has a song for me. You know I mean? <laughs> as long as you abide by the rules. <laughs> yeah. What? I think we just formed a new band. It is, that's what I it's think. It's very like, hypocritical from I, what's the money. I, I, from doing all these interviews and like chatting to like different people, uh, what is, I don't want to name names because I don't want to get them in trouble, but someone I've, I've already interviewed, it, chatting to them before I did this live, they were like, thank you so much for asking this and so much for doing this, but I, I wasn't allowed to say this because I'm always worried about this and blah, 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 and the repercussions of, you know, having a voice and saying, no, I don't want to do that. And no, I don't want to wear that. And no, I don't want to go solo. I wanna, and do you think, do you think because you were younger, it was even like, it was harder as well because you were, you were younger and you were thought, well, would, you know, we risk getting dropped, but at the same time, you know, we're, we're, we're together, so you're a sisterhood, you know? I'll answer that. Firstly, yeah. it's clear up, we never got dropped. Okay. No. Okay. Ever. Okay. We finished our contract. We didn't yeah. get dropped. We just didn't get picked back up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, we we were released <laughs> happily, legally, but nobody wanted to that. Up, okay. But um, <laughs> but I think yeah, because we because we were young, it wasn't mm. necessarily the bad thing. In fact, you would see, you would really, you would think that because we were young, we had yeah. the staying power and to be able mm. to reinvent what we were and who we had and build the team. The problem was in the team. Yeah, because yeah. it's like we were having we to promote in control. England. Yeah, it's like promoting in England was completely to promoting in America, and it was like, okay, you've got to do this now. It's like we've gone from having our boobs strapped down to look like the kids that we already were, yeah. To then go to America, films go, that was a struggle. It was such a struggle. That was a problem. But I, what I'm saying is, it's the team. The team were very young. The team were very very green nice. to, the man, yeah. to the music industry and they didn't have an idea or a clue of what the heck was going on what to do and i'm learning that there was conversation later on that i've learned in my 20s and i'm in my 30s now that they wanted to reinvest finances that were not theirs to invest yeah. they were our that's just our money into mm. the second project without our consent and when things didn't go the way it went it was like oh I'm, I'm not sorry it was your fault, but... Yeah, it, it was basically like it was our fault. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like they, made, they blamed everything on us. Well, we've had to pay for this. Show me the itinerary. Show I me want, the breakdown. I want to see the receipt. I want yeah. to see <laughs> Like, so it was like, because we were kids, they kind of felt like we didn't have the mindset, considering how my mum brought us up, to actually say what we want, how we want it to go and how we feel, yeah. even to the point where they started pitching us against each other, which yeah. was the most stupidest thing that they could ever have done. I mean, cause like Cleopatra's voice, her voice alone, like I am like a proper fan for her. Like I've said this to you, I think I'm one of voice notes. Yeah. Take away and be my I sister. Her voice is like an alien, like it is out of this bloody world. Yeah. And then you're saying, well, you can't sing like your sister. Try yeah, this. Later. You're fatter than your sister. You work out more. You do this. You do that. So it's like, but they, are you trying get, to? Yeah. When with with all these projects, as awful as it sounds, uh, when you like a band, whether it be Steps, Honeys, Cleopatra, S Club <laughs> Seven, it doesn't. When it comes down to it, a lot of bands. It doesn't. My opinion. It doesn't really matter that if that one person can sing because it's shown it in the Spice Girls. That one person does leave. And they don't do as as great. It is about yeah. collective. People like the fact that you you know you were black, you were British, you were a girl group. The first, if I'm not mistaken, you yes. were sisters. You were very and <laughs> in, in interviews. You were you just would go. They'd say, "Well, sing." 
and you'd be like a cappella, you know, life ain't easy. And you'd well, that's do... that's how we got signed. To yeah, be honest, you exactly. Know, so we, people we got signed because they we just. Mind. You we literally no we very we very very rarely mind and sometimes we wanted to <laughs> yeah and we weren't allowed to i mean we had to do which i actually enjoy doing it but we had to train on a treadmill and sing at the same time yeah. so anytime people seen us obviously our performances were always full out they're like no nah, you're miming we are not miming we are singing was, though, that for me i will say this especially since i've had this operation through my whole history of music I've learned that the child's voice needs more attention and mm -hmm. it needs more training to understand how to use it. And I didn't have that training um, to be doing such intensive work, which we were doing as we were doing intensive um, performances every day, more performances than kids should be performing. Yeah. And yeah. You know, we, well, we were illegally performing. Yeah. And talking, even talking, doing, doing, doing interview after interview after interview you're still using that muscle you know yes i know talking now even my um speech therapist is saying i need to speak like this i need to speak down here all the time he says Do you imagine there's like a jazz fm just talking some like asmr this. stuff <laughs> <laughs> i can't help it i can't help but be like a bit like more so if i'm a little bit mellow that's usually why i'm reserving my voice to be honest no that's fine um but well, I'm honestly, just naturally loud. those kind of well, things were not taken <laughs> No, no one was really taking charge of these things. So to perform full out was great. But if your voice is being hammered every day yeah. and there's no real care being taken care of it, you're losing control over that instrument. And as a child, I just found a way to make it work. As an adult, mm -hmm. I found a way to make it work. I just done, I did like five years in theater, like doing the same show on and off. And, I and was they like, did not care. It's not even that they didn't care. They don't know or they don't have the provisions to look after the artist because they say you're self-employed, it's your job, you have to figure this out. But then they want you to be going, hee hee, ow, ow. Like, oh my God, I've not yeah. done that. Yeah. That's nice. Your, your speech therapist is going to be going mad. No, none of that. Oh no, he's left I'm me alone. probably watching months. right now. Yeah, he's, he's left me alone for three months now. He says I'm doing incredibly well and I don't, need, I don't need him right now. So he'll come back and check on me in three months. So I'm actually recording again. I'm back in the studio. <laughs> I know. So um, as you can hear, I can hit those notes without thinking yeah. about it. But when you're doing it every single day, it's hammering it. With Cleopatra, that was the case. And as an adult, I've had to learn that that kind of structure is a high demand that you can't back out from. Yeah. You, as an artist, yeah. we, we really pride ourselves on being the best that we can be. Um, mm -hmm. We don't just sing, we don't just write, we don't just dance and perform because we're, we want to be famous. It was never, ever, 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 never ever, like ever, mm -hmm. ever about fame. It was always about the joy, about the love, about what we do. We, you know, yeah. and I, we just were rooted. Yeah, that we used to literally knock on our neighbor's doors, get them to all come outside and we do a full on performance because that's what we like to do. We had radio stations, yeah. we, like, we did everything. We did. We Different did. voices, we did. a lot. So for us, like, it was just the fun. So my mum was like, okay, so do you want to do something about know, this? Do you want to decide? We were like, oh, I don't know. We yeah. didn't think of that. Oh my God, we're going to be famous. It was, yeah, oh, let's go travel the world. Let's go do this. And then, yeah. It was, it was more fame. about the passion for the music. Today, when I write as well, I, I feel like I, I didn't realise until I started singing one of the songs I'm redoing at the moment called Open Your Eyes. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it's, um, I realised that I have, I lost and didn't realise it then, but I knew now because I felt the joy. I lost my joy. I, yeah. I lost my joy, Oof, mm -hmm. love of music, because I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. Oh, I wish I could just give you a hug. You can come oh. over, babe. Come see me later. I'll come over. <laughs> but still, I started to sing the song, and um, you can feel the it. song. The I'll tell you I, the reason is the song in the, what it is is the words it's saying. It's saying um. It's funny how I see so much in what I see An everyday thing is new every time Like the sun in the dawn it highlights the edges We forget how precious things are in our lives Chorus Now we see it's something that we carry inside So bring it to the front of your mind Let it be You'll find it when you realize just open your eyes and I'm like this is what and when I'm singing I'm I was getting into my Michael Jackson open your eyes 
yes. <laughs> I was in it and I was like, oh my God, I'm so joyful right now. Yeah. Because when you get into the mode of a song that you really, the words speak to you, mm -hmm. the heart speaks to you. Oh my God, yep. that's everything. And, and people playfully kind of switch this idea of Cleopatra as, as it was fun, it was fun. But what were the lyrics and the songs we were singing? Believe in yourself, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. we look, look at us, we're doing yeah. it. You can do yeah. it too. Yeah, because it, it's mad right? it's like, <laughs> So with some of the songs that you, like, I mean, one of my, one of, I mean, everyone loves pop songs and things like that, but is there like mm -hmm. certain songs to step, uh, well, one of the questions actually somebody asked was obviously the Stepping Out album. Was there a couple of songs that both of you, like each of you, what would you say is a song that, like is special to you? Is there, is there something you go, oh, do you know what? And no matter how many times I've sung it or no matter how many times you listen to it, that, that there was a song that you went, that's my, I do enjoy that song. Uh, for me, off the second album, it's Voodoo. Wait, it's Voodoo's second album? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to check that little fact there. Yes. Because I need a fact checker every day. Um, like, Voodoo is literally one of my, like, yeah. ultimate tunes. I wanted it to be released. Like, I just love, I love the sexy vibe. I mean, yeah, we did vamp ourselves up in that. But it's just the, the mood of it was completely different. You know, we're having fun with it, even though... The lyrics are also kind of serious at the same time because yeah. it's just letting you know that the female yeah. is powerful. Yeah. No matter what you're trying to do, it is powerful. Yeah. yeah. And for me, and it's the ad libs. I'm thinking, can I, can I even try I that if I was to attempt it? I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what's going to come out if I open my mouth. No, and what about you, Chloe? Was, was a song you like? Song. What's my song, did you say? Yeah. The world we live in and yes. oh yeah. And uh we also did a cover on the a special version of the album of um it was a cover of Patty LaBelle. Ah, uh, heart yeah, yeah heart mind was stepping out. No Thanks, matter bro. how hard it gets and it we have we a fear, yeah. 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 Sung that we got to sing on the Disney cruise ship and some of the other concerts that we did. So yeah. if you've seen a full-on show with loads of songs, you would have got to see us perform that. And every time we sang it all the time to the point we, we saw it. it. We saw it on the movie um, the Five Heartbeats. Was it? Was it the Five yeah. Heartbeats? Yeah. And yeah. from we saw that film, we fell in love with that song and we sang it almost every day. And our management were like, "You know, you're gonna have to cover that." And we're like, "Yeah." yeah. No, for real, there's some beautiful songs. Voodoo is a great one, but I would probably say... Um, I like Voodoo. Sweat Me. <gasps> Why you want to sweat me now? Waiting for that. Yeah, you want me, and I want you. Now I got to sweat you now. You want me now, but I don't want you. That's my attitude this year. It's the ad-libs for me. Got, I know where obviously as soon as you guys get to pick when you were releasing songs, because obviously for people that you know, did follow your music and things like that. To be, I, growing up as a kid, there's obviously many songs that, that you listen to songs and you think, oh, I love this song, this song is brilliant. And I, whether or not you both liked it, I have no idea. One of my favorite songs that's a bit more poppy and I just thought it was great. Number one fan. Come and get me song. Ah, I, I, do you know what everyone says that you know. I was everyone. Oh, I, love, I love the video. I, love come I like the little me. close up, the little, you know, the. And the last one. Yeah, good don't song. watch my nails. <laughs> it was a good, it was a good song. It is. That little giggle at the end of the video is so typical me. Like, I couldn't keep a straight face. I'm trying to be serious. I'm like, just come <laughs> and get me. And I'm like, come and get me. Like, really? I had to that, don't, doing I that know. video, like do you remember answer. we did that yeah. video, how long it was? It was the longest Like, that video ever. was tiring. Ever. Really? Absolutely tiring. That and You Got It. Oh, You Got It was a great video. We were literally yeah. asleep on our feet. Do you know what was like, happening? Literally. So You Got It was filmed where 3T filmed, Why does Monday <laughs> come Tuesday? Tuesday. I was like, ah! TJ was here. TJ was here. <laughs> yeah, obsessed me. Obsessed with him. <laughs> obsessed. Did he say TJ? My son is. His name is TJ. I didn't care what I was going to call him for the oh. TJ. 
he was going to be called like, TJ. I'm, I've got yeah. to see TJ as a son. It's happening. <laughs> Does, um, but that was lovely. Get to pick, <clears throat> like, with the songs that you did, obviously Cleopatra coming at you and things like that. Did were, How much involvement did you have with saying, look, we want this to, you know, like, life ain't easy. We want to release that. Did, this is no. what we want to release. Did, no. Or was it picked? They, they we, had, much... we had plenty of say. But it didn't mean it went our way. I'm right mm -hmm. here. Give us a melody wow. for that. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. we had plenty of say. It just didn't necessarily didn't go, go our your way. way. Yeah. No, I don't know about you, Jack, and the fingers. <laughs> no, but it was fine. We were we were happy with the decisions that were made. It was <laughs> it was just the way that they went about it. Like the second for the first album, it weren't so bad. But the second album, it was like, what's going on? We had three singles released around the same month. Yeah, no promotion. Songs, there was promotion because they had to promote it. It was almost as if, if the promotion was like this much. Do you remember the advert was, they had? Oh, here's a flash. It was almost as if they had to tick the checklist on the contract to make sure that they did all the things before they finished the contract rather mm -hmm. than actually put all in to make this a success. Yeah. Um, and so after that, it was just like, oh, you don't want to sell the contract? Poos. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> But, but the thing is, though, even though we, we um, finished the contract, we couldn't release anything, we couldn't record anything, we couldn't well, really perform the, anywhere. It, it was hard. The thing is, though, with that, that's argument. That I can argue with that because we don't know if we could do anything. A lot of the control was, taken, from the management. was taken out yeah. of our, our hands. We, we didn't mm. know what we were doing. We can't have an opinion because we're too young and we can't know yeah. the business. And, and you yeah. know, so a lot of that control was taken out of us. But blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Let's talk about happy days. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, um, I have to say, you do, you um, both made me feel, made me realise actually how old that I've gotten in the song where you Did you, you say quote, old? Um, yeah. Well, He's I'm, a baby, I'm, please. He's a baby. I, I'm 40 <laughs> in four years. Three years. Oh, I'm 40 in three years. years. <laughs> 30, 36 years old. Young. 36 Someone years old. Someone just said hello from California, by the way. I've just realised that people have been talking Hey, oh, and I've seen the island one earlier There's as well. There's a bunch yeah. of Taurus gang up in here, by the way. Bull gang, bull gang. gang. What you gonna do? What the you gonna do when April comes for you? Bull gang, bull gang. Huh? Uptown. Yeah, there's um the song when it goes um that I want your back and it goes nineteen ninety eight yeah um and it, I just think nineteen ninety eight I remember singing that. <laughs> we perform, like, whenever we perform that, Yona. Do you whenever we it? perform that, it, I always think, Ugh, I don't mind when it's a nineties like a. a yeah. But we're in twenty twenty now. <laughs> yeah, twenty twenty one. Sometimes yeah. I kind of skip it. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you realise, like singing it. I remember singing That's it when it was 1998, and obviously was. now, yeah. 1998. Yeah. Like, That's where it went in. Yeah. Exclusive. We had some to chase my mom's tail. Questions. Where's so, Yona gone? I don't know. She's I was just doing my um, lovely mommy duties of get out, get out, get out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it says, um, would, uh, it says, would Helen underscore says, your time recording stepping out, are there any plans to make selfish or get in fitting available to download? Helen. Do you know, I wish we could record, uh, release those tracks. Selfish, I mean, especially because I'm singing lead. Yeah, just, I what, get to sing lead on that track. Talent, you only got the lead. She got the crown on that one. Um, the thing is, it's quite clear that those songs were recorded for a reason. There's always been the intention yeah. to release mm. these songs. It's just again, there's no real good team around Cleopatra. It's just yeah. us, and mm, we're doing. We're literally doing everything that we can for these years without having yeah, the real yeah. support or the understanding. And on, always We've been blocked when about, you think about it. Your reception's crackling, I think, Yona. You're, you're my reception. My end. You're, yeah. It's fuzzy on my end. What a guard. I think the kids are plugged in the PS4, five, Yona. <laughs> no, they're not. You're, you're slow as, you're um, slightly slow as well. Mine? Oh, right. All three of us <laughs> do a slow-mo. So <laughs> 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 Sorry. 
Right. Yeah. It's Sing not about that it. simple without a team and financial aid to make that happen. So, y'all, if you really want that, holler at our Instas, holler at our Facebooks. But do you know what's mad as well, though, And okay. tell us where you're willing to put your money in, because you know what? Not We're you... happy to put that out there, because God knows that we could do with the assistance. It's just, yeah. it's not easy to do when you're on. I rate so many artists that are there pushing their stuff by themselves, but the quality that you expect from Cleopatra, because if we release yeah. something now without the right funding, we'll be getting calls coming in. But their artists could have been yeah. better. And um, you know, they have been thing again, but we have been, so it's fine, Corner the Hassie. We be have been. Mess. Yeah. We, ref we refuse to release what is no. a mess. We're not releasing a mess. You guys deserve quality from us. If we're going to bring something out, you deserve But what's my thing? But us. when we have, like, tried to do the comeback sort of thing, again, the teams have been absolutely rubbish. And then we, when we've been asked to do certain shows, they have actually told us that they've had us on lists every single year. They've requested for us to be on these shows. They've requested us to do, like, yeah, singing. Yeah, they see us. And when they actually meet us, they're like, oh, you're nothing like what people are saying, because apparently... There's some bad rumour going out there that we're difficult, mate. Come on. With messages, I will say this to anyone watching, I have messaged a couple of people months ago, and I've said, I've, I've not spoke to Cleo, but Yona, I spoke to her, and you're the nicest. <laughs> I mean, we've been laughing, like, we, just, we had a. Yeah, messaging in the shower and everything, yeah, but yeah. We've been, you know, nicer than ever. And I think, whereas there's been other people that have been a little bit rude, and it's almost tainted their music to me a little bit, because I was a bit. It does. More than just how rude the, the person was just so... If the person's rude... Right. If rude. the person's rude... Like, the message... You give them the peace, nah. bang. Nah, it's like, no, no. I was like, mm, just, just a, no thanks, I'm all right. The Good thing is, kind of thing. Yona and I are probably... We're from Manchester, so we're, like, yeah. the coolest people you can meet. Manchester... Mancunians are pretty cool, right? And it's yeah. funny, because I, 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 I was just saying to you, to you like, the whole... Um, we're rude and stuff and I'm like we're not rude we're forward thinking strong women who have yeah. opinionated and will say what the yeah. cup we want to say when we want to say yeah. it however exactly. if you meet us you will learn that we're actually the coolest loveliest happiest most fun people you could ever actually yeah. hang with and you'll be surprised yeah. our circles are so small because of that reason a lot <laughs> yeah. of time I've what I've learned to realize is that you can have a light in you that is so bright it just shines so bright some people just can't stand being in it. <laughs> yeah. I think you have to learn to like, just around so much that you're, when you're, you're doing good. Your music, you've got to, you have, you do need a sense of remaining who you are and especially yeah. in music and entertainment full stop. You know, you need to do this, you need to do this. and Oh out. yeah, and you couldn't let them know if you were gay or anything or if you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend. No, 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 no. you couldn't. We, we, we were from the generation. The we come from the, re the generation of your voices being restricted and yet you're out there telling everybody to speak their truth. And yeah. this generation won't understand that because this right. generation are <laughs> so outspoken and flipping rude, may I add. And it's yeah. like, they do what they want. And they say, well, we told them, go do what you want to, be who you want to. Be what you want to, say what you, like you want to. But yet, yeah, we're looking at them like, yo, tone it down. But yeah. why should, but li there are limits, but why should they tone it down? At the end of the day, if you're not free spoken, you're mm. losing your freedom. If yeah. you're not saying what, who you are, what you are, you're now bullying yourself and others into becoming exactly what that is. You're a bully. Yeah. You're a bully to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we can't be like, be who you want and then act completely different. And we come from that generation of all of those restrictions. We could, do you think I could have said if I had a boyfriend? Yeah. Like, oh, no, no, no. Because we your, could, fans, we could, your fans yeah, won't like, like we couldn't even talk to the guy or the boy that we grew up from in school. We weren't allowed to talk to them. Can I ask you? But, but then you wanted them to be audience in um, in something that we were doing for Cleopatra. Like, yeah. make your mind Can I ask up. you a question? Yeah. What, what boy or girl has ever stopped liking you because you're with someone? If anything, they want you more because they, yeah. <laughs> they wish they could have it. And it's like that concept was completely lost when it came to pop music. And Michael yeah. Jackson, the generations before us, they went through the same thing because it was all about covering up the truth and who you really are and putting on an image for a someone product. else. Who, it's your product. But we that's the difference between Cleopatra and other bands we were not manufactured we didn't have to mm -hmm. follow a certain pattern which is probably why we didn't get 
the salute that we should have really got, which is probably why we didn't get the the push later that we should have really got. Mm -hmm. We've to only be called icons, literally. What was it last year by Alan Carr on um the drag race? Because they know, yeah. baby, they know. But you know what? The, Give me my flowers. As as the public Give know, me my flowers. <laughs> where's my flowers? No, but for real, as long as the public know, as long as our our followers and our fans know what it is, I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy that we will release something together. Yeah. Yon and I have been discussing it recently, to be honest. But we're like, what, you know, is it worth doing that? We've got so many different creative projects on online at the moment that we're about to push mm -hmm. forward. So just yeah. and even keep, individual keep stuff that we're doing. Space. So you, mm. so Oscar, you've done like the singing thing, and then Yona, do you did you go into the street dance sort of things, kind of what I do as well? Do I yeah, I see. Um, She's incredible. I didn't, I did not like singing. Like if someone told me to sing, <laughs> I used to rehearse in the kitchen. But tell me to dance, I'm like, oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, that was my happy place. Um, even to the fact that I'm working with. Um, queens and kicks events and we are performing with a lady called red with two d's singles out so today cool. shameless plug don't care um, <laughs> What's song, and, um, What's i've had people song? like saying why would you want to dance for somebody else why wouldn't i it's like, yeah, like if that's what i enjoy not. doing why, why would i not want to do that i really don't care just because i've got the cleopatra thing behind me i i can happily separate myself completely from yeah. that and yeah. that's why I went into teaching, I was working for City in the Community, um, I was working for different charities and stuff, yeah. doing dance, doing cheerleading competition. That, that was my happy place. Yeah. But it's like I if, get if the it's whole... down to anybody else, they'll let you they'll want you to sit into a Cleopatra box and die yeah. that way. We yeah. were kids. Like, do you not think we got life after that? I had a child when I was nineteen, you yeah. know? And I was like, yo, nope, you know what it care? No, nobody care. No. Yeah, you no, that, I, I would. I used to work in Carphone Warehouse, right, and um, on Market Street. Tell me why. Right? Every time I walked into work, they were sitting there playing clear batches. Being that ain't funny. They do like, it now. Like once is enough. But on no, the shop floor, I'm open. That ain't funny. They do it now. Yona and I were were, were helping with um, the NHS and the staff. It was like. Yeah. It was like a power trip almost, like, oh, you're yeah. working for us or you're working with us. Oh, you've never done like, a hard, you do this you've thing, you never do done hard day's work in your life playing our songs and stuff. And I was like, we are people. Mm -hmm. We are people. You yeah. don't own us and you shouldn't dictate to us who we should be no. because of your insecurities. But it's okay. It's we just true. go like this. Yeah, if it's if it's like a, a thing of, <laughs> you know, like an, a genuine fan or something, you know, like if you saw a dancer, I know, you know, there's people on YouTube that do dance videos or, you know, they they like fan videos and stuff. You kind of have that respect. You think it's really sweet. But when it's that, it's this whole pandemic thing, you know. Or if, this if, pandemic. This, this whole, regardless of, even before this, between jobs, I'd have to go back to like Cineworld or Tesco's or Top Man and work, which I was mm -hmm. just for that. And you do get that, no matter how big you are, you get that, oh, he's working back in, and I had it, oh, you're working back in Top Man, oh, the, the career didn't work out. And I'd be like, yeah. watching my language, but... Cause yeah, to be honest, no, it's... Like, I'd like to like, pay my bills, and I'm still very much singing and dancing, mm -hmm. but I'm not ashamed to go and do what I need to do. Because do you know what it is? People look at us and think that we made these this millions of pounds. Maybe we're getting twenty pounds a month spend. No, yeah. we made millions. Yeah. We just didn't we, we had it. twenty pounds a month spend. <laughs> we yeah. didn't buy ourselves clothes. Yeah, yeah, we're getting things free from the touch and that, but we're looking around like, where's, where's my land? Money? Where's, where's my jet? Money? Where is my money, honey? Because it's still yeah. out there, but where is my money? Because yeah. I mean, we can't be the first black British cover girls. And Ryan. have nothing. It's just like <laughs> like we've literally been used and abused. Yeah, a, a lot. But, but happy days. <laughs> happy days and, and that's why for me, when Cleopatra like started really slowing down, I was like, Do you know what? I'm just gonna throw myself into work. I'm Yona, just gonna do it. Whatever it is, what it is. All of us, I would say, Yona was very full steam ahead. She was no no cares. She d wanted to do what she wanted to do. She enjoyed dance more than mm -hmm. anything. And she went full on into dance. She was doing dance rehearsals, dancing for friends, um, dancing. Mm -hmm. She had, was in Australia. Mm -hmm. She had her own dance troupe. Mm -hmm. so we were part of Galaxy when they were at the radio yeah. station. Susan Red like, says, Yona, my mum worked with you in Tesco's, I think. <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you might you might have seen me in Tesco. <laughs> oh, Wearing all black cars, driving a non-German car. <laughs> I think, Fiona, did you do um as well? I read you did health and social care. I did, yes. I did, oh, yes, I did. Which again is amazing. You know, like I again. loved it. I absolutely loved it. I only stopped doing it because the owner of the company, I was looking after her mum as well, as obviously others. Her mum was not she was not taking well care. So yeah. I left because of that and it was like, Oh, right, you've got to do an hour here, but you need to be at this place at this time. How can you do an hour here? But then you want me to finish at nine and be at this place for ten. Make it make sense. Like yeah. I was so nice to like I don't want to say clients because it's, yes, you know what I mean? Carry on. Um, so to the people and stuff, like I was one of the guys I literally fell in love with. I made him my husband. Like he was just on his own. Do you know what I mean? I would even like pop, even though I wasn't allowed to do it. So I used to pop really. in after work, you know, just, just to check to see how he was. Because he was literally on his own. So yeah. for me, I loved doing that. Working with kids and working with the elderly, even the ones that didn't want me in the house. Yeah. I enjoy, I enjoyed it. I loved it. Yeah, and it's, it's really, that, that's just me. I just know that I'm meant to be out there helping people, whether it's in dance music. Plus, obviously, I've got my um, my qualifications in complementary therapy level four now. Go on, but, baby. But, Tell them. Um, yeah, I, th I just find the joy in helping others. being around other people, even though I'm socially awkward. Yeah, really. She says yeah. this, but she's not. She's not socially awkward. No, seriously, I am socially awkward. Like I can, I can be in a room, and I'll probably be like, it's for like the first ten minutes, and then I think, okay, okay, I'm good. okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, OCD, ADD, ADHD head. And there's a question that says under. It's, I've got to get through all these questions. So one question says from underscore American Four says, "What was it like supporting the Spice Girls? Were they as nice as they seemed?" Awesome. <laughs> it and was yeah, so they were cool. They absolutely lovely. They actually actually are flipping awesome. I really enjoyed working with the Spice Girls. Um, That's so nice to hear. They were very yeah. supportive as well, especially um, especially Boy. Mel C. Melanie. Melanie C would always come and check in on us, have a good yeah. chat. Um, Mel B mm -hmm. as well. Um, all of them actually, but mainly those two were the were the ones that we saw the most, that we spoke to the most. Um, it was sad because that was when Jerry Halliwell was not there, and we were like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, oh, and we and we actually broke the rule so of yeah, because when we were doing rehearsals, said, right, you can't go on that part of the stage, can't. Wait, we, we went. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, it, it was very restricting because we were just we were a support act and we weren't allowed yeah. to use their whole stage, but yeah. we can't help it. There's a whole, well, it's Wembley Stadium and Don Vanning. There's a whole audience there and we can only see this little section. No, 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 no. We went we right were like, yeah. yeah. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Did you see them when they, um, they, re they reformed the last time? I went and saw them with the four of them. And I saw can them I just four say? Five. Oh, it was, oh, I love it. Can I just shamelessly say, right? Yeah. I um, hashtagged, added, all of them saying, why are you not having 90s groups on there? I mean. Yeah, and Jess Glynn, who was crap. I'm sorry, but she was. Really? She, was she was really not, it was not the thing. Like, she was good, but she was not, it was not. It's like having, it would have been like having. Um, it was a clash of the eras, wasn't it? Yeah, it just was like, you know, at an Oasis concert, you wouldn't have, you know. Cleopatra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know I mean, if I if, if you do, I mean, when we saw Steps, they had the Benga Boys support them. For Spice yeah. Girls, I'd have loved you guys or the Honeys or you know, um, nine one one. Nine one one. I'd have been there. You got right. my bad. So, and I've got to say, you did support as well. I I hated her because she left a group that I absolutely Louise. Louise. and she left, and I was mortified. But it wasn't her fault. Yeah, she released I, lo that I love of... Louise as a solo artist though, and I really did enjoy doing that tour. Wish that she was so humble, absolutely beautiful, beautiful yeah. inside now. Lovely, oh. absolutely. Oh, well, that's answer that question. So, American underscore that's your question. Um, says I don't know who this is from. It says, did you did you write any songs that were used by someone else? I think is what they meant. Did you write any songs that were used? That might be towards you, Clean. I wrote a lot of songs in sessions for other people, but I don't know if they used any of them. 
that was like girls allowed etc cetera, etc cetera. i did backing vocals on gareth gates album but i didn't get a mention but you know mm. no. what song I don't. I can't remember because I, I didn't have the. I didn't get. Where the, is my money, honey? I, I didn't get paid. Where, where is my money? money? So, you know, <laughs> I, I ain't buying your album either. <laughs> I could have got sent a copy of the songs, like two or three songs. I did backing vocals on in in Norway. They, I was in the middle of a session writing my own album, um, two thousand six. So it, whichever whichever album came out around two thousand six, around then, because I think it was two thousand five or six. I was recording. Yeah. Didn't, I didn't get a mention. Yeah. Never got a mention. It's all right. Even when you did Russell Watson Sorry, as well, yeah. didn't it? But even when you did Russell Watson, like, where, 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 where was your hat? The thing with Russell Watson is that yeah. I, um, I recorded two ballads for him and I did two tours with him. And he's incredible. But there was an issue with my management at the time, Cleopatra's management, that they wanted more. I mean, I know I'm worth it. But still, <laughs> what happened was, they didn't want to they didn't want to, to contract me for the much that they were asking so yeah. they went with Faye from steps instead and she was the one that the public saw on the song singing her version but it was mine on the album and it was just really really weird someone like you yeah wow mm -hmm. well you gotta do the is... inside scoop there but, yeah. no shade to Faye <laughs> i think it's Thing at the moment a lot of um there was a TikTok recently of a woman who writes a lot of songs and she wrote a song for britney and she said she's one of the main artists she had that actually didn't take credit for any of the songs she did write the artist's name and the songwriter uh, the songwriter's name and there should be more respect for songwriters that are writing these songs for you know the i'll the tell people. you something for free there are more writers that are unheard of that should mm -hmm. be making real money with the music that's been yep. released that aren't because th because of the the weight of the artist's name and where they are in their career they yeah. will shift their percentage to something stupid like five ten percent and you wouldn't mm -hmm. even know they wrote the whole record an artist will come in and say yeah well you know i'm this person so i'll take 50 yeah. percent of that and, yeah. then, oh, and then they'll have 10 how do you have 10 writers on a song with two verses and one because I added like, the word the and the. it in yeah. sentence. I changed that to yeah. I was instead of it was, you know? No, like, no, that's how it is. That's, that's exactly how it is. So many Just, writers for absolutely uh, nothing. And it's, what I don't get is this industry, like, how can anybody call out a ghostwriter and write on someone's song? So what? I think that so what writers, someone's wrote the song? Yeah. It's Definitely. again, it goes back to what we were talking about before, um, that we come from the, the musical gen music industry generation of you can't be who you are. You can't tell them the truth. There's, there's always going to be something behind the lines. It's almost like then they've got you by, you know, by the neck, really. They've got something on you. Mm -hmm. um, but really, there's nothing wrong with having a ghostwriter. There's nothing wrong with being manifested. Not at all. There's nothing wrong with having people no. write your songs because it may not be your strong trait. You know, right. it might not be your strength. Mm -hmm. However, value the fact that these people are writing for you. You don't have to go ghostwriter so it's all hidden i tell you yeah. who need, i tell you who i who i understand needs ghostwriters rappers i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry but these teenage rappers i'm sorry these but, are, no, 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 no. A i got a ring on in my face and i'm yeah, sitting on a chair rapper. yeah baby don't play Look like, come on. if you are a rapper and you are rating <laughs> hip-hop I'm sorry, but that is some authenticness you need. Yeah. What happened? Where did that inspiration of that song come yeah. from? You can't even answer that yeah. because it's not your story. Um, you know what I mean? if, if, even choreography. I'm I'm really funny with choreography. Like I I get really annoyed when a, f a few years ago I did um a piece of choreography for someone. It was for for a group of a performance I did, and I turned up at a school and watched a performance. This was probably about a year or so later, and watched my choreography on a stage and the teacher had a uh, former arts teacher had gone onto youtube copied wow yeah i had no problem confronting her in front of the head headmaster but um i was gonna talk with dance who did your choreography do you know who did your um choreography? so the lady who did our choreography her name is called cheryl broadfoot uh, she's running Miss Manchester. Um, so, yeah, she did our choreography. She travelled the world with us. Wow. Um, yeah. Like, I mean, so oh, yeah. Oh, and we had Venom as well for the video, for a couple of videos we did. Yeah. Gorgeous guy. 
Right, have you, by the way, have you got a piece of pen and paper there? Yes. I've got an envelope. Oh, that's fine. So a pen. You were the one what? who told me to get a pen and paper, and I'm you don't Tesco have a pen before. and paper. I have to get stuff from Tesco, so. Tesco? Uh, What's well, that one? Is, Jay, is that normally... all the questions you had from everyone? Pardon? No, is well, I was, sorry about you had? If, I was going to say, some of the questions came up. If anyone has got any questions, you can write it. Let people realise it. And there's a little question. Why don't, you tell, why don't you give us a shot fire questionnaire and just give us, like, we have to do a quick answer. So <laughs> are you sure Are you sure you I want him to do that do with it. me and you? I think what, we should do what? it. Why play the game and then we'll see. We won't right. give a long answer. Quick Go. fire. How brutal. Am I? Look, you don't need the pen and paper for this. So quick fire. Um, nicest person of pop. Lionel Rich. Oh, wait. Is Lionel Rich your pop? No. So you've both got to answer. So, Yona, nicest person in pop. Jerry? Jerry who? How are well? Yeah. Ringer? Uh, <laughs> damn, who was the nicest person to me? Come on. It's supposed to be five, five damn it. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> who did you say? I was going to say Russell Watson, but I know it's not him. It's, there's more, there's, there's such, that he's lovely, but there's so many nice people, but go on. Okay. Um, Favourite place you perform, City? Or a country, a place you perform that you, you love. Bahrain. It. Yep. Where? Bahrain. Oh, yeah, that was great. I would say Rome. Oh, the amphitheatre. Mm, Lenny, no, that would be um, Lenny Kravitz. Okay. Mm. Worst costume you had to wear while in Cleopatra? When we did that living show. <laughs> right. I like all of our costumes. Did you like the wig? The what? Did you like the wig? It's Do you like costume, that babe? It's a costume. <laughs> it's a costume, babes, yeah. Keep it clean. Babe, we look we look like we got dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards. No quick fire, babe. Quick fire. Sorry, anyway, go on. costume. I haven't got one. I haven't if got you one. could have won any award, what award would you have liked to have won? The real Grammy. The real. <laughs> <laughs> the, realest, the realest of the real. Award. The realest of the real. Award. No, I would have sponsored by I, Real. I think right. we deserved to win the Brit Award for the best newcomer. And who won it was something like something and sons. No one even knew that was I don't know who it was, some weird it was a new person that no one even yeah. knew about at all. Everyone was like, Really? We deserve to win best newcomer on the Brit Awards. That was it. I'm yeah. saying it. just Oh, saying. someone just asked our time you page is just asked who's the most most famous person we've had dinner with, Madonna and all the other opera yeah, singers and oh, everybody else that was there. Okay. What was Madonna like? She was lovely. She left her tummy when she was pregnant with Rocco. Pregnant with Rocco. And we told her she was having a boy. She goes, oh, I don't know what I'm having. We're like, you're having a boy. <laughs> She's oh, like, oh, okay. Amazing. Um, Zena, what's she up to? Dunno. Dunno. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody here can answer for her us. <laughs> Just say it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The answer you gave, Cleo. <laughs> I know for a quick fire question that was like <laughs> I don't know she's, it's, Easter, it's, it's Good Friday she's probably having fish somewhere <laughs> on Good Friday oh, yeah. oh. Good Friday right, on you one know, and know, season you hard know better than us to be honest so basically uh, it says keeps kicking me out I don't know why it keeps kicking out our time the ancient seat so your pen and paper basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Cleo a question you need to write the answer, and Yona, you need to write down what you think she's written. <laughs> okay. So, like, see how in tune oh, oh, oh. are with each other. Yeah. Okay. So, bleak hang on, is... who's got to write what? Who thinks who's written? So, oh, please, babe, we, we don't need to put. A... Let me just answer this question. We don't need to put an SOS out for Zenim. Zenim is doing what Zenim's doing. She's all. She's good. Yeah, but she's, you already yeah. know that, dude. You know that. He does know you that. You know that. Like, you he knows that. You need to go speak to her, Help honestly. Me. You probably know better than us, so go holler at her. Help Carry please. on, please. Sorry, go on. She's Maybe. in the waiting room. She's in the waiting room. <laughs> right. Uh, go on. So, Cleo, this uh, question, so there's three questions. One is easy, one is a bit more tricky, and one is hard. And, Yoni, you need to write down what you think Cleo has written. So, Cleo, okay. easy one, first of all. What would be... Your final one takeaway meal of choice. So easy one. So a takeaway of choice. If the one place she was going to be like that, that place. 
where would what, where an actual would like you? a restaurant place a restaurant yeah. oh yeah. that's with me so you can choose like your fast food ones or your restaurant ones yeah can it be a can it be like an asda <laughs> <laughs> i think right excuse Meals, my yeah. spelling yeah right. excuse my spelling by the way i am dyslexic so you don't need to read it yet so second question cleo to you okay who would you say your 90s crush was? That's so easy. We just talked about it. Just said it. I did. All right, I'll give you another one. Okay. Yeah. Which one do you think Cleo preferred? The Spice Girls tour or the Louise tour? Oh, it's easy. And the last one is a two-part answer. What is Cleo's least and most favourite Cleopatra song? That's hard. <laughs> That's you, babe. This is the yeah. hard one. My least favourite one. So know. one that you like is... You know favorite. exactly what it is. Every time we sing it, you're like... Ugh. Okay. Oh, probably. Oh. So, we'll I need do... to pee and I'm bouncing like, oh my God. Are you doing the, the, the <laughs> kid like, thing? Yeah, the... yeah. I'm oh, I know. I've been from Ryan. Right, go right. on. Do you, the, do you want to do the answers first or go to Yona's questions? Um, do the answers. Right. For answer. my favourite food place, I think Laundrette. Nope. Um, that place that we went to that time, that nope. vegan place. I like it. Damn it. Oh, Piccolino's. Japanese, man. Sushi. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Boom. So, nil, nil pois. Okay. Second one. Spice Girls. All Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. Oh. It was hard though because I really enjoyed Louise because we got to do like a whole dance breakdown. That was sick. I loved that one. That was a great tour. And Lee, what do you think? Her first would do most. Most favourite Cleopatra song you think she'd pick? Come and Get Me. It was Come and Get Me and then I scribbled it out. But it is Come and oh. Get Me. Yeah. And yeah. the least favourite? Cleopatra's theme. No. Life ain't easy. <laughs> oh, my God, no. I should have I I should, I known. That song goes on forever. I don't want to sing it. I don't want to sing it. <laughs> Mum, don't make me. Okay. But you know what's so funny, though? Like, we have been on stage, and the songs come in, and we're looking at each other like, what's the words? What's the words? What's, what's the, the words? <laughs> And then we go, do I have to be Jonas? <laughs> well, so it's the opposite. So, yeah, Yona, your questions are, you ready? Is she going for a wee first? I need to go. Go for a wee. <laughs> How did you know that? See, you're, you're, part, you're part of the family now. I'm doing all the telepathic thinking in there. I am. I am. Ace Caribbean. Why life ain't easy? <laughs> we'll let her answer oh. that. Because I, I got it wrong. It's... Pro probably because of the keys and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. It is a well, very tired song. Yeah, let's yeah, talk about me. Go on. So do a shout out to your. Um, so you're dancing. You're. Yeah, I am dancing with an amazing company called Queens and Kicks. Yeah. Um, Queens in Kicks, sorry, and yeah. that is run by Tony Ling, which is freaking amazing. Um, I used to dance with Tony Ling back in the day in a group called Estrellas. Literally, we were amazing yeah. ahead of our time. Um, and we have been um, asked by Red, um, I think she's in here somewhere, Red Music UK, yeah. um, to do um, her video, which is which was released today, called Rogue. Yes. So you can get that on um, iTunes and everything. So you can get it today. It's a Hello, I love the song. <laughs> she'll, she'll probably kill me for singing the words wrong. <laughs> but we are doing Miss Manchester. We are yeah. doing a performance for songs with Red, so I cannot wait for that. Like, I when can't she wait. Says we, she means she, not me. She's doing Miss Manchester. Oh, yeah, not we as in Cleopatra. I mean, <laughs> me as in, <laughs> no, I me as in yeah. dancing, just so everybody out there can actually like, figure no, out. Yeah, can we do separate like, what did I stuff? Walk into? <laughs> talking about me, obviously. Hello. Why is that your last favorite? Was just oh, this is herself. Oh. I'm going to plug myself, yeah, because. During Definitely. this lockdown, oh, I have book. started to write my own book. So this is yeah. a copy of The Tickle Monster. It's so Wait, cool. Have, it's, it's the cool cutest book I've written. And I've done all the illustrations myself. There's my little self picture, which kind of looks like Michael Jackson, but, you know, 
I can't you mean you didn't, you didn't have any ghost uh, illustrators? I didn't have any ghost. I had no ghost writers for this. This you is sure my like one word. word and Yona wrote and and yes. <laughs> and no, honestly, I worked really hard on this and. I've not done any promotion for it. I've just shared it with friends. She and friends, but I probably is lazy. But this is oh, my book. So you can find it on Amazon. Just look me up. And I'm using my middle name for my work. So it's Cleopatra Madonna. So you have to go find me there. And the, the, the author, next one Cleopatra yes. Madonna, the author, remember. Yeah. It's Cleopatra, right. Cleopatra Madonna. So, Yona's questions. Yona, question number one. Where would she pick as her perfect holiday destination? Ibiza. What's that place? Yeah, Ibiza. Well, I think she's really totally wrong. After no, I don't know the name of the exact place, but it's somewhere like that. Oh, play under bus. I don't know what the hell it's called. I just know you always talk about it all the time. Oh, <laughs> we went with Alexia. Where you went with Alexia? Oh, uh, Agassi. Oh my gosh, go. Banana Beach. Mate, yeah. I've got a story about that. I can go to that question in a minute. So we went to Banana Beach, yeah. Me and me and my best mate, my pod, my roll dog, my Taurus. So um, you know, it's just sunbathed topless, yeah. She's like, oh, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, my shoulders hurt. So I like, massage it. Yeah, li literally everything out. Sitting there massaging her, and we've looked up, and there's this guy there like this. <laughs> of course there was. Of course. Filming us on banana. Like it, it was a naked beach, do you know what I mean? Literally filming us like this. That's uh, there, our time youth agency. Um, literally filming us. So we're probably on YouTube or probably on OnlyFans somewhere now. Yeah. It was a good few years back. But... Cleopatra TMZ, the leaked pictures. <laughs> I'm surprised there aren't any out there. Just... Seriously? <laughs> right, go on. What's on this next question? Um. Second question. So, Yona, would you, if you could pick between winning a MOBO award you were nominated for or a Brit award, which one would you have preferred? Which one? So, write it down or MOBO. Make... You clear, you've got to wait, hon. I don't even need to write I don't want it down. You to go over time because at the end of the day, <laughs> I, as much as I said before, I really think we deserve to have that Brit. Yes, why I've... didn't we win a MOBO? And why were we only nominated one year? We should have yeah. totally have been. We should have totally had a mobile. In fact, we should get a mobo now. We yeah. should get should. a mobo now for the history. You know what I mean? We should yeah, get that recognition of mobile for, for what we've done for black British artists and art, black artists all over the world and black female artists all over the world. Yeah. We should have that mobo, mate. Give it to us. <laughs> and I think we're not demanding enough. We should be demanding. <laughs> demand the right to them. So it's a, and the last one, it's the same question to Yona as I asked Cleo. So have a think. So what was your most favourite Cleopatra song and your least favourite Cleopatra song? So have a think and write it down if you need to. It's really hard because we like all of them. I would say... Yeah. Um, least Obviously, favorite. you know my favourite. I don't. You don't know my favourite? Unless you just said it. Oh, before? Really? Was well, there's, there's two. There's actually two. Don't watch this finger, my nail fell off while I was driving. She actually said um, her favourite was Voodoo. So if that's your favourite, that's your favourite. But I didn't know that until today. Favorite? Yeah, I didn't even mm -hmm. know that until today, to be yeah. honest. And, and um, Clear, which one least do you think favourite? I don't know why I'm thinking Dying Rose for some reason. Was it Dying See, Rose? See, I love, I love Dying Rose, but the reason why it's become my least favourite, I mean, I know it sounds a little bit morbid, but... After watching my sister cry her eyes out on the stage when we found <laughs> out that Princess Diana was, oh. was she passed. Love love, so so love anytime love I hear love. that song, it brings me back to that, that place. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Babe, I'm taking No, no, it's fine because it's like, <laughs> just, just hearing her break down, like all of us were all crying, but obviously she's having to sing the lead. She's like, <laughs> 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 it was so like, insensitive. Oh. Tell us just before we go on the stage. Literally, Diana has been murdered, and but, we've got we dying rooms. Where, 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 where were we? Where were we? Yeah, we were around. Yeah, we were in front. Front. And we were like, "Oh my god!" And we had to go on stage and go and sing these songs, and they made us sing "Dying Rose." Dying Rose. In her honor, because she considering she's the princess of the rose. Oh, okay. Oh, I was wow. Crying on the stage. I can, it was sad. I can understand why that was a little bit. Um... Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Ah, biggest starstruck moment. Love you, girls. By Kane Burney. Mariah Carey, probably. Hang on, no, I wasn't starstruck. No, was you weren't there. Mariah remember? Carey is like one of my. Mariah, I grew up believing that one day I'm going to sing with Michael Jackson. I'm going to perform with Left Eye Lopez, and I'm going to record with Mariah Carey. Yeah. That almost got was true all in one session. <laughs> Yeah, she was too busy talking to Janet Jackson in the recording studio while me and Zena were sat there helping Mariah Carey pick the picture that you see on the Rainbow album. Yeah, so I wasn't as stru as starstruck. No, I wasn't talking to Janet Jackson. I was recording your bloody vocals, mate, so you can go over what I've already laid no, down. No, don't even go right. to the, the session. So, girls, which, girls, so was it Janet Austin when you spoke to Janet? Right. Was it ja <laughs> Janet Austin then? <laughs> no, I, I think the most starstruck moment, I remember oh, being in awe. Most famous person. Wait, we've done that one. Yeah, done that Madonna one. Madonna wasn't the, wasn't the most in awe person though. Who was you most in awe of? Um, for me, it was at the Brit Awards, and I was going running to the toilet, and Muhammad Ali was there. I was like, "What in the toilet?" He literally <laughs> like he stopped. <laughs> no, he literally stopped. He acknowledged me, and I was just like, <laughs> literally, that, that was all I did. Just. Oh. No picture, no nothing. I was just like, I'm like, ha like, how, how am I meeting this great man? Yeah, it was everything to me then. I think, do you know what? We met so many famous people. We've no. forgotten who half the time. Yeah, <laughs> I know I've forgotten a lot. Um, my mom has to remind me, and I don't even know the name of this, the singer. Was one my mom's had famous. lots of um, rappers flirt with her though. Oh yeah, all the rappers were after my mom. Honestly, yeah. my mom looks like us. Beautiful. Like she uh, doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't, doesn't age. Of you. Yeah does not age um, and we found it hard to even have a boyfriend or have any boys interested in us because once they saw our mom who was more woman than us they were like who's there we're like <laughs> oh clear you just triggered a memory do you remember yeah. the lift kensington hotel i'm darnell darnell jones, darnell jones. <laughs> Me and Cleo just at him and just burst out laughing in this no, man's face. No, Jonah has just released a record. It's really good. You need to go check it Is out. Is it? But it's so funny. It's like, how are you coming out the list and doing a whole spin to say your full name? Like me. Shout out Zenim. He was checking Zenim out. Very extra. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing. Ewood e Music says, would you do the big reunion if it came back on TV? Yes. yes. That's that. God, you've got like right, <laughs> quick fire questions. You've got... Uh, what's your favourite TV show? Oh, right now, Shit's Creek. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a Lamborghini. Uh, what I'm is a your favourite star? <laughs> and what is your favourite dance show? Oh, I used to be obsessed with just with Dance Moms, but um, oh, what is that show called? I like all of them, to be honest, because I've always wanted to go on one of those dance shows or Dancing on Ice or something like that. Yeah. I, like, I, don't know really. I love Dancing on Ice. I've, I've been asking them to put me on Dancing on Ice for years, but you know, <laughs> we're at the It's all right. Lady Leisha represented for all this They team. want news broadcasters and people they haven't heard of. You know, yeah. <laughs> they don't want the Cleopatra, no. Oh. Anyway, um, I've just seen who would Cleopatra inter be interested in collaborating with. Um, all of them. <laughs> I, I love collaborations, but that's actually a problem. I need to do my own thing, to be honest. Do your own thing. And the last... Yeah, well, I, mean, I don't mind. I don't mind doing collab. What is one of your favourite shows you've done? Coast Trip? Because we had fun? Yeah. Yeah, so we, it's like we actually trip. enjoyed Coach Trip, apart from all the drama with certain petty people, pet, petty and immature people, and matey yes. mates attitude. That's not, I that's actually not enjoyed that. Trip. No, I'll let <laughs> yeah. you into a secret. I was, I was told to do this yeah. before I got on that plane. Yeah. It's just, really? it's, it's just, yeah, there's a lot that went on. No one really would know about it. I can't be asked, yeah. to be honest. There was only, there was only probably a, a small handful of real genuine people mm -hmm. as, in the sense of as celebrities on that show with us. Yeah. yeah, it's like like Vicky is pretty much the only one. Vicky Patterson is pretty much the only one who will comment on our stuff and like yeah, our Vicky stuff. Vicky is yeah. Vicky though is in the middle of it all. Like she's, yeah, she's a beautiful person and she's in the middle of it all. She's just northerner. She's 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 a people's person. Um, yeah. but to be in the middle of it all, it must be very very difficult. To yeah, definitely. Are you one of us yeah. or are you one of them? Kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So oh, I really, yeah, that's I really pretty much how the attitude was. And so. Harry as well. And um, Harry was a girl. 
no and the winners as well were like oh, they were real 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 um and you know we had if we had any issues with any of the other people that i could say were real like is it ryan you know we ended up cool with people in the end but certain ones never no never. i think it just shows the other people in bad lights but yeah i think you both came off really well and i think anyone that knows you and knows like, you know, watching things like this and watching, you know, on whether it's shows or just like your YouTube things or just, in, in, they know, you know, how yeah. edited it is and actually how real you are. So it's, it's hats off to To be honest you. with you, I think they edited it pretty well. Mm. It's just, mm -hmm. they, they couldn't put everything they, in. <laughs> they couldn't. No, because a lot, a lot went on, a lot yeah. went on. On my last day, I lost it. That yeah. last day, I just completely, you, I had enough. Yona, lose no, it. No, 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 not in the way that you might think. Yona was in tears. Yona yeah. was mm. in tears. The whole thing, the whole film yeah. had to stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's I like, walked off set. I physically walked off set. I had enough. Yeah, I had enough. Yeah. I cussed out everyone. I didn't care if I was friends with you or not. I cussed out everyone. You cussed them out from all the way down the other side. Yeah, of the as I was I walking off, literally <laughs> almost having a panic attack. I was still cussing at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I, I can't take is, don't lie on me. Yeah. Do not tell me I'm doing something that I'm not. Do not be repeating words that especially are used towards black people, because we obviously we have this conversation. Do not use those words. And when we're trying to, we should have to educate you. You're older than us, and you act like big ass kids. I have to yeah. say that. Said it again. Um, um, so yeah, I lost it. After something, yeah. you said, if you could rewind time and change something in your career, what would it be? Managers. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, come on. Yeah. But then again, no, I don't even, it's not, for me, I wouldn't necessarily change that. I'd be just more vocal and I'd be more proactive with taking charge myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to end that, I was just saying, thank you so much for doing this to me. I do really appreciate it. And You're welcome. Your time. So to end, what would you say, um, like one big bit of advice, so if, like Cleo wants to go first, like one final kind of, final, that like the Jerry Springer final thought. <laughs> it's it's never going to change from this it's just to never quit yeah you know it doesn't matter what life is throwing at you nobody knows which project or what age you'll be or what time it's going to be when the light bulb is switched on and it's your turn yeah mm -hmm. always keep pushing through my life advice however would be to accept accept you accept yeah. them, accept everything that is, be thankful for the bad times, the hard times, the worst of times. Yeah. Because if you didn't have them, you wouldn't really know how to enjoy the best of times. And yeah. all the things that we have in our life are given to us because of what we project out there. And I know people don't always like, sometimes I'm like, what? I didn't ask for this, but you may yeah. not have asked for it, but you didn't, you didn't control it in the first place. What you are only responsible for you your yeah, actions, your only. responses, yeah. what you say, what you do is all down to you. So if you're wounded by somebody, and I've been, I've been subjected to be wounded by other people, and then I project how upset I am, when people are like, oh, she's so angry. I'm like, I'm not angry, I'm venting so I can move on. You know, yeah. give, allow yourself the freedom to vent, allow yourself the freedom to go into hermit mode, Take yourself back, take your power back and put yourself right back out there where you want to be because no one's in control of you or your career, your success, your motivation, nothing other than no. yourself because only you can bring yourself down or put yourself up there. Don't think that people that are up there are happy. Yeah. A lot of people up there are not oh, happy. Oh, no. You put a lot of people on, ped on a pedestal and they're going through the worst in their lives internally and they're smiling in your face like it's nothing. She's so lucky. She's smiling in your star, face. But she cries, oh, cries, cries, <laughs> cries. You know, I, I love how we've both got two different songs. <laughs> but, it's, but they both are the same. The, you'll always have issues with people with things with lack of but your mentality has to be i have everything i am mm -hmm. happy now i am happy with where i'm about to go i'm happy yep. with the mistakes i've made because you know what i figured that out and now i'm stronger and i'm better and i'm brighter and i'm badder again it's all britney be britney be britney uh -huh. Right? Yes. Like, free Britney. Free uh, Britney. Yes, Honestly, please. bless her. Oh, you know, 
just believe that you can because anything you say is you if you say you can't then you you're right you can't so just yeah. say you can say you can and, and especially when you don't believe oh. you can say you can and you'll start believing it trick yourself into being happy by smiling because when you smile your mind thinks you're happy so just do it yeah. right but, you'll figure this out so when you start laughing you're pretending to laugh you naturally laugh which is the main thing you can't so, help it yeah Yona, what would you we're say we're all beautiful souls we've got it is your um, first of all i'm gonna say out please thank you um for me um i would say accept people's opinions yeah. Doesn't mean that you have to take on those opinions. Yeah. If you, this is so typical of you. <laughs> it is no, it, it really, really is. Um, another thing is, if you believe that much in yourself, and somebody, say, five people don't like it, who cares? Because there's going to be twenty other people that do. If you personally like what you're doing and you find it morally right, then go for it. Go full speed. Do not let anybody stand in your way. Even if you have mental health issues and you suffer from certain things, yes, learn to adapt then. and learn to, yes, you're right, son. Learn to adapt that because I am a person who's personally struggled with depression and anxiety and I had to learn how to adapt with that too. Um, I used to not listen to what people say and now I've learned to listen. I've learned also apologize. Even if you feel you're not wrong, shut up you <laughs> apologize <laughs> apologize for your part yeah but if Absolutely. if the words that you said you're sticking by them stick by them yeah it's, but yeah it's don't funny. let nobody take you down treat that others how you wish true. to be treated and you'll get back mm -hmm. what it is in the thousand thousand percent. Percent. never give up on love never give up on being truthful it's a beautiful yeah. thing i've learned to accept <laughs> i accept that you're <laughs> rubbish I accept that you're a book mm -hmm. I accept it. And it's I okay because you're just on yes. that But you know what also? Yeah. Accept people not liking you. Not everybody is here to be liked. Uh, like, no. don't no. want no. to be no. liked no. by anyone. I'm going to care. Like, <laughs> be yourself. Yeah. I, feel like telling, I feel like you're telling me. I'm all right about We're it. Telling <laughs> We're telling everybody. We're telling everybody. Right? When I'm in the aisles and I'm, like, having to tell the kids to start doing something, why are all the other shoppers turning around and standing to attention towards me? Yeah. Get out of my business, man. <laughs> and I'm like, business. okay. <laughs> so like, I thought you were talking to me then. I was like, I was not. I was talking to these. So as you can see, Jay, yeah, we are very, very, we're very opinionated, very strong. And we Good. really believe yeah. in ourselves and we believe in each other. You know, yeah. we will support each other to the, to the nth degree. Honestly, even when we're failing, it doesn't matter. Those failures... Yeah. Those failures are oh, your yeah. survival scars. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're just they're just the markers of you reaching a point to learn learn from it so you can do better. We will yeah. always be supportive of each other and this is how people need to keep yeah. being, you know? But Yona. Man, I've got to say, like, it's been absolutely lovely chatting to both of you as well. And obviously talking to you as well, Cleo, because I'm not actually chatting to I'm you. reclusive. I'm reclusive. Yeah, she, she's a full on hermit. -er. Seriously, to drag her out. Um, but no, and also thanks everyone for all the questions and stuff. And I really do appreciate it. Thank um, you guys. You're and welcome. I say like, it's, thank you guys. Like, one day get to see you actually on stage singing and dancing or doing whatever it is that you love. Good luck with the dance show, Yona. I'm sure it'd be absolutely amazing. And thank that's you. Follow and good luck as well, Claire, with the book and the album, the solo. And my stuff. tour. And my tour. And tour. I'm, li I'm literally trying to get my tour back on. But with all this stuff with COVID, it's not been able to happen. I can't be advertising a show that might happen. I don't want to do that to people. So my show, Funk Soul Diva, no. is still going ahead, just waiting for that real green light. Yeah. The real green Wait. light. Yeah. Green light, so. green light. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you, honestly. I appreciate both of you taking your time to do this. Um, sending lots and lots and lots of love to both of you, and hopefully one day. Thank you. And to Zenim. Jay, you know we're meeting up. We're going for cocktails, hon. And a little, <laughs> uh, a little dance competition. Babe, only after you finish your shift at Tesco's, though, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I finish, at, I finish at 12 tonight. Thank you for all the Tesco workers. No, 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 no um, gas, gassing me like I that, work, please. Babe, I worked there. I lasted three hours, and then I left. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Oh, 
thank you so much, Jay. It was been lots lovely of talking to you too. See, okay, thank we can you do so this much. For free. <laughs> See you later. Bye, <laughs> later, Jay. See you later, babe. Bye. Bye, <laughs> bye, 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 bye everyone.